Hi everyone, thank you for joining me on my channel. This is Fee and I'm doing a setup and what I'm doing is a setup of Heartful Diamonds, the Dark Flower Cap 40 by 60. Cutie. I think I've seen um, Frutini do this one, um, working on this one. So yeah. Um, so what I've got is I've got my drills and I've created my labels. Well, kind of created my labels. I have the Elizabeth Ward bead storage and I have my diamond painting underneath all of that. So although I know normally I do some of the setup beforehand, so that like here's one I, sorry about the crinkle, here's one I prepared earlier. Um, I'm actually going to do the full setup, although I will speed through some of it. Um, I was on a live today and somebody asked about what label I use. So I used to use the Dymo, but now I use the Xyron. So what I'd do is I thought I'd give a better demonstration of using the Xyron. I think I've got enough label on it. Um, this I got from Spotlight, which is in Australia is just a craft store. I paid about 15 Aussie dollars for it. And it's not battery operated and it is so easy to use. When I, um, first time I used it, I was so impressed with it. Um, what I do with that being it said, I generally do grab the inventory sheet. Hang on, I'll turn that light off. Is that enough light? That's better. I normally get the inventory sheet and do a copy of it. What I have started doing though, if you look at the size of it, what I have started doing though is actually taking a photo on my camera and then sending it to uh, sending it to the printer and printing it out so I've got bigger labels just makes it easier to see so for oh excuse me so for the um, label maker it's very very easy we've got your adhesive there the only thing that I have to try and make sure I do is when I put these in here is to make sure it is in straight because if it's if you're doing a long label this is why I cut them up into sections if you're doing a long label and it slips you won't get it on straight but it is just the easy case of popping it into the label maker and then at the other end is the tape and you're just grabbing that tape hang on I need to make sure that's straight there's no pressure anywhere. You're just pulling through. And what I do is I'll put the second one in there. Radio. And it is as simple as that. Now the reason why I put the um, second one in so closely is because you waste a big section so if you're able to put that in pretty close you're not wasting as much. Instructions on here are actually on there. Turn it up the right way for you. Just all it says is rub and peel. Radio and just remove the there's a the thin layer of plastic, you're just pulling that off oops off the top and your labels are below. Sorry, remove the crinkle. I then need to cut this up, which means I need to actually move the diamond painting out of the way. Pop that on the floor for now. 
and that is just a simple thing of slicing and dicing. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, but what I will do, I'll just put the first couple of labels on to um, to my storage tray. Um, what I look at when setting up my storage tray is I go back to the inventory to see how many bags I'm putting in or how many drills. Um, what I'm looking at is the first three which I've just cut. What I'm looking at is first one's 28 bags, second one's three bags, second and the third one is two bags. Now I know in when you look at the size of these containers in the storage oops, actually I'll go that way you can generally get five to six bags in um, well about five bags in the small one you're looking I put about eight to ten in that one about 20 bags in this one and I've managed to squeeze 31 bags into one of the bigger ones I have learnt however that I will not empty all my bags into um, these containers anymore because what that means is when I've um, when I've completed diamond painting and I have leftover drills if I don't put if I don't open up every bag I then end up with um, drills in their original packing packaging so it just makes it a bit easier on storage wise Whoops. but looking at this uh, 154 I will not put it I won't use the big ones but I will put it in the large ones and 155 and 157 are smaller so I will put them in there just going to zoom, bring you down now. One of the things I have learnt with um, getting these labels off, so I use the X-Acto knife to to cut these, obviously, but I also use the X-Acto knife to lift and put them on, and it's as easy as that. And when I'm taking exacto, taking these labels off, I actually use the exacto labels, exacto knife, to take that off as well. Okay, so that's how easy it is to use the Xyron label maker, and um, how to, you know, the it's probably the quickest, the quickest way of labeling that I've come across. There's no handwriting. Um, there's initial outlay for the machine. Um, but yeah, that's that's um, how I do it. So from here, I'll go on and I'm going to work my way through this. Um, just a few different stages that I'll stop at. But I will lift you up because my first stage is um, I will slice these. The next stage is actually sorting my drills. Um, and go from there. So it's just a, a process that I go through very slowly. So um, I'll speed through bits and at the start of each, each step I'll um, come back and talk to you. Okay, so these are all set up, ready to go, DMC order, and what I did do is, because I've got a few of these storage containers, um, I actually did grab some from another empty lot of um, Elizabeth bead, Elizabeth Ward bead storage, so i um, got a range of different sizes, so I'll move those to the side, there to there. There, 
the ruler out of the way, I don't need that anymore. So my next step is um, going back in and sorting through these drills. So if I unboxed and sorted at the set up, do the setup at the same time, this would still be sitting on my desk. Um, but because when I do my unboxings, what I do is I hang my canvas up and I have these sitting, have this sitting in a tub ready to go. Um, so now what I need to do, sorry for all that crinkling, is go through and sort these. So um, back onto the time lapse and I'll see you when these are sorted. Okay, so these are at least sorted into their numerical piles, 100s, 300s, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, etc. Um, with that being said, what I'm now looking at is doing the bagging up. What I did do though with my, so 154 has, um, sorry, 154 has 28 bags. So that's, I've got this container full. I've, because it's big amounts, I've actually started rolling the um, big ones like this. Uh, it just makes it a bit easier. And so now the process will be to look at um, filling the containers. So I'll work my way through that. Okay, so now all set up, all storage is all done. What I will show you is, so I have quite a few that I didn't actually put in. Um, so what I've done is put them back in the bag and put them into the container, which is where I'll put this. So, I'm, um, so I'll put that in there. Um, I've yet to do a label on this. Um, which I put on here, dark flower cap. What I will point out is um, an example of why I didn't do them all, um, bag them all up. So this is number 155. It's approximately 200, anywhere up to 200 diamond um, beads in each bag. What I did receive, what I did require, let's get it to focus, it's not going to bring it down and back up, okay, it's not going to focus, 155 required, yeah, 356 drills, so if there's approximately 200 in each bag what you've got is I should only have needed two bags and they've given me three 
Um, if uh, hang on, I'm just three five six divided by. If it was one sixty, if I only get one sixty in each one of those bags, I will need the full three. Um, but my guessing is I may not need it, so I just want to keep them in in these little packs just for easier storage and also what it means is if I happen to knock this container over there's two things one I know I've got more drills and two I'm not losing the whole lot because I am as my partner says a club so that being said the next thing though is to look at so we get there and we look at diamond painting and we look at um, drill quality um, sorry symbol clarity and I know when I've done previous um, unboxings I've looked at it and gone yeah the symbols look really good and then what I've turned around and done is when I've started actually drill I'm gone oh heck the symbols aren't that good so just trying to get this in the right position um, okay, so I'll turn the light on. And I'm not going to go to the corner. I'm actually going to pick something in the middle. And because of the way I work, sorry, I'm just going to move that out of the way. Because of the way I work, which is top left to right, and what's this, a 40? So I want to look at about the 20 centimeter mark. So approximately here, I'm going to cut this in half, oops, not all the way along, but what I now have is, oops, keep knocking that light switch, what I have is approximately halfway along, okay, so now I've got a um, section open up, pull this up that looks absolutely stunning oh gorgeous where did I put my lid always do it I put the lids down somewhere I'm actually gonna do the simple tackle I'm gonna just tackle this section here as a quick little drill with me um, what I can then do is I'll end up being able to put the canvas down without any issue Excuse me while I find a little bit and the star if I go in here which is that this symbol here which is a green symbol so this is one thing about um, these guys is their symbols are so different yeah I reckon they're pretty cool symbols but their symbols are different to what we use, what, what we normally use. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to zoom this down, bring this down now. So excuse me, sorry. Hang on. And you'll see what I mean about the symbols being different. There's no standard. There's no letters. What we've got is, I've seen this burgundy with the ball. I've seen this before. This one here I've not seen before, which is actually this symbol here. So they actually do have some pretty symbols, really do have some pretty symbols. Okay. So I'm just grabbing some. Simple clarity does it. They, they do look pretty good clarity. Drills. I've just only taken out a small portion of these drills. Um, already I have one that's got a it's not a tag, not a knobbly bit, but it's a tag. Okay. So just in that first little bit, so I've already picked up one that's not good. Okay. 
So I've just, um, where am I at so far? Today is Sunday the 3rd of Feb. Uh, currently my work in progress is, I've got the jetty I'm working on. Um, that's the one that I'm working on the majority of the time. I'm also working on the paint by numbers, which I was struggling with initially, but I'm starting to enjoy that. Okay. Yeah. And what I want to do is... Bear with me, I'm just grabbing out a little container so I can put that to try and keep track of. I never used to keep track of bad bills, um, but now I'm going to start doing that for each each one that I work on. Okay, so that's there. They seem to look good. Uh, next one is... Okay, so we've got the round sort of circle. That's one five four. It's the circle. Which there is a bucket load of those. What do we got? How many of those have we got? Only four thousand seven hundred. They have more of another colour, so you know that's a no, nothing. Okay. Right. So we do have quite a few drills with actually you can actually see the reflection of that with the hole in it. Um, but I don't think it's those holes that are causing the popping drills. I think it's the knobbly bits on the outside. Okay. But it doesn't look like there's any knobbly bits on that. And that's the thing, that's where one of the things is diamond paints. We go, you know, yeah, you get the big bags and you look at it going, yeah, that no, they look good. Um, in that bag, in the drills, every one that I opened up, there was, there was no static in any of these bags, which was fantastic. It's, the static is actually a pain in the ass to me. Um, another thing that was really good, no oily drills either. Okay. Oh, it's so nice to be using tweezers again. The custom that I'm doing, the jetty that I'm doing, I've been using the drill pen, which has given me a you know, sore. I'm starting to get calluses on my fingers, which is a really stupid thing to do, to have happen from that. From that. Okay. Um, so I haven't been using the tweezers because I've just been trying to get this done as quickly as possible because it's it's not mine, it's for my mum. Okay, next symbol there is the star. Good old lone star in green. Guess what colour that is? It's a good old three tens. So, back under here. Hang on, I'll just give it a bit of a, a shake. Having a quick look at those drills. For three tens, move them around a bit. Oh, <laughs> I have a round three ten. Oh, I should leave that container open. Oh, <laughs> so I've got two rounds in the squares in that section. But looking at it, the quality of those squares aren't too bad. I can't see any any misshapen. So for a 310, normally you'd be seeing rubbish in there. So I can't see any rubbish. And those symbols are nice and easy to see. So I'm not up close at all. So this one is, yet again, from Heartful Diamonds, so it's a 40 by 60. 
Um, it's a nice one, nice size to work on. A uh, nice uh, break for me from the big ones. I can, I'll work on this a lot slower. Considering, like the last two days, I've watched three lives a day, I think. Oops, get in there. Can't get that one in there. Watch, yeah, about three lives a day. I did one live myself. Um, and... I got so much done of that jetty. Um, so yeah, that's quite good. So these, um, a bit of a push to get that one in. These symbols are really clear, and being three tens, that's really clean drills. Do you know what? I might move this to a better spot so you can actually see it. I've been drilling, not looking at the camera. So these are going in nice and clearly, no issue at all. Um, and with tweezers, sometimes it, 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 I struggle with tweezers sometimes when I put them, when I'm filling in the gaps. But this is looking pretty good. Drills are pretty clean. Oh yeah, they're quality. I will say they're quality for the squares pretty good in my opinion and obviously as we do these things everything is always in your own opinion um, you can hear other people's comments on what they how they feel about things and um, you take notice if you find that somebody is um, you find that some people have issues with some some companies some don't um, it's some of that is um, I know there's a lot of stuff going on with uh, with some some issues however for myself I've generally had no issues I've only got one company where I'd say I wouldn't I won't buy from them again um, if you've watched any of my reviews you'll find it in there but I'm not going to bring it up here Um, but everything is, you learn by your own experience. And yes, it's great to share experiences. Um, but if you've been burnt by one particular thing in a diamond painting, it's, you're always, whenever you do your next diamond painting, the biggest thing you're looking at is, was that issue from my last diamond painting an issue in this one? So when you look at, say, quality of drills, I never used to look that closely at quality of drills when I first started. Didn't understand it until I actually got some really bad quality drills. And I only started looking closely at the quality of drills because one of my diamond paintings I did I ran short of significantly so I got to the point where I was paranoid of running out of drills so you look at quality and then you look at am I going to run out of drills so the biggest one to me my biggest worry is running out of drills um, if you happen to be wor working with a drill a diamond paint that doesn't have DMC numbers it just makes me even more nervous so then that's um we're starting to look at the closer at the quality of drills makes a big difference okay they look pretty good pretty good to me i'm not ocd with the squares um but that's, they've just gone in really nicely into that section. The blacks, you know, the only issue... Oh, that was clever. The only issue that I've had with the three tens is purely the, um, the fact that I had those three rounds. However, I did have um, that one 
that had um, <laughs> had big knobbly bit <laughs> of it. I'd more call that a tag than anything. Right. Just gonna... So this is where I'm just going to have a look at this symbol here. I'll try and work that one out. Okay, that's uh, 939. So that's another one that we get where stay up now seeing just about more than the black. So if I scoop some out, what's this looking like? So that's four colours that I've pulled out and only one of them I've had an issue with. Any, any of the drills look like rubbish. These all look pretty good. Um, have a look at those. That's what you want in quality. Isn't it? You just there's no nothing hanging off any of those. So that's where these guys. Um, I think I would be. I've I did them. I've used them for the Northern Dragon Princess. Fantastic quality on the drills there. Um, so yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I will. I don't know if they do customs. I'm highly likely going to contact them and have a look on their website to see uh, what their customs how their customs are right now what I'm doing I'm actually going to pull out I'm just opening up other colors just to just to have a look so this is 823 yep I did spot one with a tag on it. Where'd he go? There he is there. But they're all looking pretty good. Um, just a couple more. That I'm going to pick one of my favourite colours. Just shake it out. So yet again, you look at that. Oh no, that's not okay. The quality there, they are so uniform, it's brilliant. So that's on three three three. I'm just gonna check. What's another one that we get that we get a lot of? Um, oh, 796 I, I know I see a lot of that one I'm just going to pull that out I'm hoping you're liking these la randoms where I'm just pulling them out and you can, so you can see I can't see any junk in there So how's that? You know, there's a couple of little bits up so far of the colours that I've opened up. Um, see how it goes. But yeah, this is looking like it's going to be a nice one to do. The drills have sat down really smoothly. So that's just, there's no, it's all sat nicely in there. So there's no little knobbly bits. Um, <laughs> me and my nails just poking things around a bit so yeah I will leave you with that and finish off with so this is Heartful Diamonds Dark Flower Cat 40 by 60 um, I don't know how long before I'll get to this one that is in there covered so that's there's no exposure to anything else so um, I'll get there eventually with this one got a few others to get to but I just needed to put some into storage containers because I've completed others so I have empty drill containers so thank you for watching um, please thumbs up thumb thumbs up oh it's too close thumbs up thumbs down your choice please um, subscribe 
and if you hit the bell you'll get notif notifications I have started doing lives now I've done two so far um, I am not running to any schedule because I do lovely shift work um, and I prefer not to do it on weekends which is when everybody else is uh, there's a lot more lives happening on weekends than there is on weekdays and so I'm likely to do mine during the prefer to do mine during the week so yeah but if you want to watch any lives um, please hit the bell and you'll get notified as soon as I go live um, once I get myself all organized I'll do another live um, but I'm back to work on Monday. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will chat to you later. Bye.